Back out here, guys. We're about to upgrade something for the Jeep. Let's see what it is. Box in a box in a box. box in a what can it be? Something that was very much needed. We went with some drilled and slotted. For them big old 35s, you gotta have that stopping power. And it cools cools it down. And uh, it's have, nice, dude. We did front and rear, drilled and slotted all the way around with ceramic brake pads. So let's open that up and uh, check them all out. Here goes the brake pads. See what they're all about. Ceramic, nice ceramic new brake pads. These should be the rear ones. All right, these should be the front rotors. They look good, don't they? Oh yeah. They're gonna keep from the brakes heating up because they do heat up really quick with these big tires to slow it down. They're just gonna cool it down a lot better and uh, keep that Jeep braking really good throughout the whole day when you're driving, you know, because you lose that stopping power when they heat up and then big old 35. So this is gonna improve the stopping power by a lot. One more, I'm just gonna leave this one closed. Let's install these things. Should be pretty simple. A few bolts and basically just changing your brakes. That's how simple it should be. Let's get to it. As you can see, some basic rotors here. They're still in pretty good condition, but we want to upgrade that. That stopping power is just not enough for these 35s. So it should be pretty simple here. Just remove the calipers, and the rotor should just slip right off. We haven't drove this thing in a while. It's just been sitting out here. But we're going to get back into it. We've been working on the Subi. So Jeep's going to get some love here. And we're going to drive it. Obviously, we're going to test them brakes out. We're going to probably... Oh, we should have did a compare and contrast. If it was bigger calipers, then that would be a good test. Yeah. But, you know, this is just... When it heats up, you lose your stopping power. But with the drilled and slotted, they heat up. They just don't heat up as, as fast. As fast, and they cool down faster. We would definitely recommend this if you're running 35s or even 33s. Or even a stock Jeep. If you want that stopping power, this will help a lot. Catching up my wheels, the them, new wheels. The new wheels. These brakes can hang. They got these nice. They're braided. They're nice braided. That's how simple it is. Just take it off. Original ones. These are the drilled and slotted. They feel about the exact same weight. Nothing much different. As you can see, drilled holes that go through into the center on the stock. All it does is cool off just by the center so whenever it does cool off the air that it catches in here it's gonna cool the pads off in this side of the rotor so drill and slotted is the way to go oh, yeah. on any vehicle honestly but on this jeep it's really much needed i'm running a quick shifter and 488 so you get up to speed pretty quick you need to slow down a lot yeah. faster there's a forwards and a backwards i guess so the way to put these on is uh the slots and everything see how it goes in a spiral you want that stuff to be facing forward just like this and that's it and then next thing is to do the pads and uh this side will be done then moving on to the other side but i gotta first compress it a little bit look at thomas when you're compressing these uh calipers make sure to use your old pad you just leave it there so you can compress by it, it makes it a lot easier as soon as you feel it getting a little bit tight that's it don't go anymore and just pop that out and I am gonna use some uh, brake lubricant to keep these from squealing so I'm gonna get some of that right now put a little bit where that cylinder touches this brand new brake pads and a brand new rotor is the way to go moving on to this side over here It's ready for the wheels and i'm also going to do a little rotation flip them to that side all right before we actually throw the wheels on it's a good time to go ahead and wash them this is the best time to get the inside of them and then we're going to do the same thing to the rear wheels once we take them off Got both of the wheels cleaned up we're gonna go ahead and throw them back on i'm gonna hit the rotor with some brake cleaner because uh if you have grease on your hands you don't want that on your rotor so i'm gonna clean that off real quick now we're gonna take the rear wheels off and change the rotors and the pads back here More side and then we're gonna go test them out all 
right, we got both rotors on. They're looking sharp. But before we throw the wheels on, we're gonna go ahead and clean them up because they do collect a little bit of mud. So I'm gonna take care of that. The wheels are cleaned up. We'll let them dry a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw them on. We got to drop down. Now we're about to go test it out. Make sure you pump them before you drive. Cause I've did that before and about went straight into that ditch over there. <laughs> hey, that's not, that's a far drop down right there. Let's go test them. these things out. I don't know a perfect way to break these in. All I know is uh, to make a few hard stops. And uh, if you do come to a very hard stop down the hill or something and you press them really hard and you're on them for a, quite a, there goes UPS guy. He's gonna back up in here. More parts, eh? For the boys. More parts for the boys, eh? More, more farts for the boys. More farts for the boys, eh? Yes, man. Yes, man. Boom squad, man. Some parts for another build. Peace. I've had the rotors before and uh, I just drove it regularly and uh, no problems out of them ever. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna make a few hard stops and a few slow stops and see how they feel. So it should be pretty good. And I heard uh, if you do go to a very hard stop at the end, don't hold your foot down on the rotor while you come to that dead stop. Like say I'm going to a dead stop, about 60 foot, about 80, slow down to zero and, I'm, and I stop completely and I still have my foot on the rotor. Don't do that because the brake pads will heat up really hot and then we, when you stop, they're gonna be really hot in one spot and you're just gonna keep them tight against that rotor and that rotor can warp. So if you do do a hard stop like that, try to get your foot off the brake as soon as possible. Yeah, and so let's go test them out, see how they work. Is it all there? Smooth, smooth, really smooth, really smooth. All right, so right off the bat, we noticed that there's a lot better stopping power and it's a lot smoother, right? I think they'll do great. I mean, we've ran these before and we've never had a problem out of them. The main thing is just to not warp them. Make sure you uh, break them in properly. All right, guys, so we're out to eat at the Wingstown. Here with our buddy. He's got a Jeep that he's building in the process. Dang, son, the boy don't went all out. That thing is, that thing is beast, man. Straight beast, man. That thing looks aggressive up front. Squad. Don't mind the windshield. Let's go get something to eat. All right, guys, we just had some wings. We're gonna go ahead and head out. I'm gonna test drive his Jeep. He is still working on it. So it was rebuilt, but he's got it ready and I'm gonna test it out for him. Cause it drives a little funny, but we're Get gonna... that good squad approval. Yeah, we're gonna see. It drives good? Yeah. I'd say it handles pretty good. I mean, we're going about 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Steer wheel is a little bit off, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth. There's not wobble. Yeah, what's that whirring sound? You hear that? Brake pad. Oh, some brake pad. Uh, Dang, think. cops are hot right now. We're a little bit sketchy here with the windshield and stuff, but we're going to play it safe. Pretty good, man. Very good. Yeah. I see your video, man. It's good. Very good. Hey, man. Thank you, yeah. man. You're going to be on the next one. Man, this thing stops a lot better. I can tell a night and day difference when I drive for about a few minutes. Like around town and stuff, you can totally tell a difference. Like when you're on it, it feels really great. It feels really responsive after they heat up. So, so a really good upgrade for this Jeep, especially with the big wheels and tires. It does help a lot. All right, my plans for the Rubicon, maybe do a few more upgrades. I really would like to keep it, but I also would not mind selling it for a good price. I'll still think about it, see. I might sell it, I might keep it, just depends. Might get another build, maybe a four-door Rubicon. We'll see what the future holds. All right, so we wanna probably throw a few light bars on this thing. We might, we might just go with this one right here that Ben sent us out. Appreciate that, Ben. Might do it right here. Might get the little brackets that go on the hinges. So thanks to Ben for sending this out. If there's any gamers that watch us, Go follow him on Twitch. The link will be down below. So we will install this as soon as the brackets come in. So we'll show you how to install it later. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We appreciate all the support you guys give and all the comments you guys leave. Be sure to stay tuned. Turn on your post notifications to get notified when a new video comes out. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad. You get some dope pictures there, so check that out. If you want to support us and help us grow, be sure to check out the links down below. We got a GoFundMe and a Patreon. All the support is much appreciated. Thank you guys. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.